uh, yeah, I guess, to be honest, if you can rock up in the next 24 hours, well, you could probably use you. For a spin, we've already lost one rider to, to the Tyve Hay City. Rest in peace, Alex. He's one of the locals oh, wow. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um, you had two at once, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, one, oh, double espresso is not, is not two coffees. So. That's two in one cup. That's two. Oh, no, in New Zealand it's how it's... it's no, how, they're all double shots in New Zealand. It's double shots. Over here we have the, the starting grid forming up. Race is about to start. Here's pole position over here. No need for a bigger car than that. Um, I have to squish the driver's seat almost all the way forward in order to, to get it to work, but we'll get to the airport and we'll get to top. Right, we're on our way, stuck in traffic, but that's all good. So I thought I'd just run through the, the setup of how we're getting there. So, got quite a small car, as you might have seen in one of my previous videos, the, the green beast there. Um, yeah, essentially, it's barely long enough to fit this bike box in, so got a bike box on the back I'm meant to be uh, swapping it for an even longer one in Taiwan so that'll be interesting because this bike box it's 117 centimeters long and in order to fit it in I've got the driver's seat almost all the way forward and so I'm basically practicing for sitting on the plane my legs are squashed up um, it's not particularly a great feeling to be honest um, gear stick feels all out of place I feel like I'm driving a bus I'm so close to the steering wheel and I'm pretty cramped but uh, it's all right, we're gonna get there. Might. All right, check-in all done. Flying China Airways, so off to Brisbane first, about two hours there, then 10 hours or so flight, maybe just under to Taipei. Now, go through security, get some dinner, easy. to Brisbane um, as you can see face is no longer swollen like an elephant um, fortunately I got this little little uh, I don't know, little scar scab on my lip just from the beast thing but um rather have that than have have my face look like like an elephant or totally deformed or like I've had a massive Botox injection so progress there um, one thing that has has annoyed me a little bit is um, I came into work um, on Monday face still quite swollen um, one of the ladies there at work says to me, oh, have you had your wisdom teeth done or something? And I was like, no, no, beast thing. Um, I don't know if it's because of the swelling or something, but now my wisdom teeth have actually started hurting. Um, just on the back, on the left there. So, um, uh, we'll wait and see how that progresses. Hopefully, hopefully it just calms down over a day or two. Taipei, good sleep on the plane. Found fellow competitor, rival team, but Australian Max Campbell. Got how long have you been? Uh, how long have you been growing this mo for, Max? Oh, since I was a child. Yeah, three or four years old, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it hasn't come along particularly well for something that long, that old. Uh, oh, I've got to keep it in check, otherwise it gets in the way. But yeah. You ever just think about letting it go and? Oh. I mean, I could try. You're gonna grow a grow a mullet to go with it? Yeah, yeah, I've, I've done that before, but I haven't done the two at the same time, so that might be a yeah. That's that's a the combo. secret to winning. Yeah, 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 nice. Might give that a go. Check 
down, hotel room number one, show you around real quickly. So, got a bathroom, pretty essential, pretty basic. A little bit of storage, nothing much will go in there. Three beds, TV. And that's it, so three to a room. Not actually sure who I'm rooming with yet, but whoever it ends up being, you better not snore. It's three to a room, I, I wanna get a good night's sleep. I'm pretty exhausted after that flight. Um, did actually feel like I slept pretty well on it, but then now I'm hitting the wall and it's only 11 a.m. So time to go get some food, go for a quick spin, probably down the canal, maybe up a bit of a climb after that. We'll wait and see, the roads here look pretty sketchy to ride on, to be honest, so might be, uh, we'll see what we can do. Coffee is this? Number two. Oh, you're, you're behind me. Quality coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm. You had two at once. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm on. Oh, double espresso is not is not two coffees. <laughs> that's two in one cup. That's two. Oh no, in New Zealand it's how it's. it's no, like, they're all double shots in New Zealand. If double's two in one, this is my four. My, my <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, if, if that's the rules, I'm I'm on four as well. First um. First time I've actually slept over 10 hours since I've had my, my ring, I think, but clearly still tired. Breakfast done, out for a three-day spin. We've already lost one rider to, to the Tive Hay City. Rest in peace, Alex. He's one of the oh, locals well. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see him in a few years here when we come back, I'm sure. Anyway, a couple of little opener efforts and then chill out for the afternoon. Alright, we're up here in the uh, out of the country roads in Taipei now, so just out with the guys, I did a little effort. No, I've done two little efforts so far. Um, one that didn't actually lap, which is going to be my warm up, but actually not doing for three minutes quite hard, don't really know the power, but it's doing alright. Then just three minutes, just stand up and climb. A little bit over 500, which that is like pretty solid, but not all out, like a little bit controlled. So happy enough for that. The given felt pretty crap workout to be honest. Uh, anyway, so a little bit about the tour. Five days, first day just this in town, real flat. Basically like a Kirby style course. Then there's sort of four lumpy days, which I'll, I'll throw some profiles up on the screen around there somewhere. Um, it's lumpy but not really super super mountainous, so whether that suits me enough, I don't know. But this is the highest level race I've done, so to be honest, I don't know what to expect. Like, I feel like I'm going well, legs still good, but 
There's five pro Conti teams here, a lot of the big Asian Conti teams. Yeah, first time racing like this for me, so looking forward to it. Right, here are the boys. You want to introduce yourself, Sam? Uh, g'day, I'm Sam from Indigo. Alright, what do you do other than ride bikes? I uh, wall shoot. Alright, <laughs> pretty smart dude. You want to introduce yourself, Ben? Uh, ben Carmen. I'm the uh, resident Queenslander. And um, I'm a, what would you say, psychology student, researcher. Do some neuro neurological stuff, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, some cognitive neuroscience work, yeah. 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 Alright, Lucky, your turn. Who are you? What do you do? I'm Lucky from Sydney and uh, I let the brains trust down a bit. I'm an electrician. <laughs> that, that's shocking. That, 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 shocking. Yeah, that's sorry, shocking. boys. <laughs> I'm Boris. I'm, I'm a sports scientist, physiologist for the New Zealand track cycling team. And since we lost him to Taipei, rest in peace, Alex. I introduced him, former World Tour professional, made the upgrade to St. George Continental team uh, for this year. So. That's the five of us here, looking forward to racing. There's a, there's a new spot opened on the team now. Oh uh, yeah, sorry, get your applications in because unfortunately Alex is now now part of Taiwan. Uh, yeah, I guess, to be honest, if you can rock up in the next 24 hours, we well, could probably use you.